there's a lot of different things you can like as a real estate investor. And I wanted to get back to a little bit of real estate investing content here on the channel. Today, I'm gonna to tell you why I am really into mixed use commercial real estate right now. And more specifically, I like what I call mixed use Main Street commercial, and I'll explain why. My name is Jonathan Green. I've been investing in real estate for more than 30 years. I grew up doing it with my dad before I even knew what I was doing uh, and maintain a bunch of properties in a few states, offloading some, keeping some. Uh, but one thing that I'm really interested in now in 2022 is what I call uh, mixed use Main Street commercial. But I also like for a lot of different kinds of investors, uh, obviously not for house hackers, I like mixed use properties. Here's why. Uh, a mixed use property is some commercial, some residential. To me, that gives me a little bit of activity on both. Your commercial tenants usually in the front on storefronts are going to be longer leases. Uh, and your commercial tenants also have a built-in reason to keep up the property because it's the face of their business. So uh, in terms of cleanliness and upkeep, usually commercial properties are gonna be much better well kept, especially if it's a walk-in type of business. Obviously, like I'm not a big fan of restaurants and things like that for the wear and tear on the property. Uh, on commercial properties in the past, I have had a deli uh, and that worked well just because they were there for so long. Had a deli, uh, gym, physical therapy, uh, some other options in there before um, but I really, I, the idea of having a little bit of commercial and then a little residential is really nice. A great uh, spread would be two retail and uh, two residential up top. It just gives you a lot of different options. You can go with different tenancies and you do have to be careful with what you put in the bottom based on what you have up top. So if you're going to have residential up top, obviously bars and restaurants are going to make noise, maybe bring pests with the food. Uh, so those are things I would stay away from. But specifically why I like Main Street commercial mixed use is because I feel like during the last two years, Main Streets have taken a hit. There were lots of storefront businesses that are no longer um, operating. You know, they were built on maybe more hand-to-hand -hand retail and they just couldn't stand up, obviously, during COVID. The restrictions didn't work out that way. So I think that there's a lot of availability for these Main Street commercial properties. Uh, where I live in Mendham, New Jersey, there's a bunch of for rent signs. And to me, for rent signs always mean potential for sale. Uh, I am an attorney review on a property in downtown right now in the historic district. It's two units on the bottom of retail, one on top, a kiosk, 12 parking spaces. And that's a kind of thing that's really interesting me now. Uh, I've been doing this so long and I have had a, we did get rid of that commercial property, but we had it for over 20 years. Um, then it had its uh, pluses and minuses, but I feel like the availability, if you're looking at what you're investing in right now, your traditional market real estate for multifamilies and single families is basically as hot as it can get almost all over the country. You can still find deals if you're good at it, but like it's definitely at a very high value. I feel like commercial hybrid mixed use, uh, and especially on Main Street, is going to be at the lowest level. And if you catch owners who maybe have just been holding it too long, you might be in good shape. And you're also looking at a bunch of owners in this in this asset class who've held properties for a long time. If they're own a bunch and they're getting older, it's a great time to take one or two or three off their hands at good prices because they bought them for so cheap. Uh, and that's how you can negotiate on this kind of hybrid use. Um, so when you look at your investing portal, to me, I look at it as I want a diversity in my profile. So if I maybe try a couple Airbnbs, I have some buy and holds, I'm gonna flip a little. For me personally, I don't really wanna flip in 2022. So I'm really focusing on mixed use commercial in a lot of different areas, bringing in tenants that can stay. Maybe your rents uh, though, as a commercial landlord, your rents might be a little bit low right now, but if you catch the wave, and then the towns start to come back and foot traffic is, becomes available later this year, spring and into the summer, I really think you can hit a home run. 
Again, my name is Jonathan Green. My off-market property acquisition company and real estate advisory firm is called Streamline Properties. We also have an investment portal called Zen and the Art of Real Estate Investing. We have four meetups a, a month, uh, one for new investors, one for New Jersey, one for Philadelphia, and one for VIP investors, five doors, five deals. You can find those at streamlined.properties slash Zen. Have a great day.